All right, let's move on to the next fight. Warner Boy versus Gilbert Burns. This wasn't the most entertaining fight. I thought this would have been the most entertaining fight, but Gilbert Burns fought a very, very smart fight. He was picking his shots, and he was picking his uh, takedown attempts as well. Pressured Warner Boy, put him up against the fence, got multiple takedowns from it, and he fought a very fucking smart fight. Yeah, he definitely did. He, he won the first. I felt like Wonder Boy uh, won the second, and then Gilbert won the third. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, but if I'm if I'm being honest here, I just it wasn't it wasn't my favorite fight. No, and I mean no disrespect. Like it, I could never get in an octagon. I could never fight. But but like as just like a fan watching it, it just wasn't the most entertaining. At, at no point did I think someone was going to finish the fight. I think know? that's how you have to beat Wonder Boy. Yeah, you do. You have to. It doesn't make for an entertaining fight, but it's how you beat him. I mean, look how Tyron yeah. fought him. Yeah. The exact same way, and he got that win the second time. So, I mean, that's the way you have to fight Wonderboy, unfortunately. It doesn't make for an entertaining fight, no. But it gets you the victory, and that's what all really matters. We talked about it last night on the Fight Companion. Guys, go check that out as well. Make sure you smash that like button, share it to your friends. We talked about it a lot. Like, does this get Gilbert Burns back into the contender spot? Like, does he need one more fight to fight for a title again? Is he a number one contender-worthy fight guy? Do you make that matchup? Or do you make him fight maybe a, a Hamzat Chemaev or something like that? So, let's talk about how fucked up the UFC is to my guy, Leon Edwards. Mm-hmm. Okay, because this is where I see this going. Colby Covington versus Kamaru Usman 2 is... Pretty much confirmed, I think, at this 90%, point. 90%, they said. Yeah, Pretty it's like right. 90%. I mean, I, I don't want to uh, put out fake news, but it, they're working on that, right? And they, they've been very clear-cut and concise about that. So that fight's more than likely going to happen. You know what they're going to do to Leon Edwards? They'll probably make They're going to make Gilbert. him fight Burns. Mm-hmm. They're going to make this man who has won nine fights in a row, who has had ten fights in a row, they're going to make this guy fight Gilbert Burns. It's Are- just fucking insane to me can i play devil's advocate sure. for a second mm-hmm. if you look at his last two fights versus nate and then Bilal muhammad i mean it's not a great to build your resume off of those one was a no contest and the other one nate could have finished him if he would have actually tried in the fifth round i'm not saying that it's un- i'm saying it's still unfair but if you look at it from the ufc's perspective you got to win one more and you got to do it impressively and gilbert burns is just sitting there Mm-hmm. And and I yeah I mean I I hear that point, but this welterweight division is fucking stacked, dude. You have Jorge Masvidal at seven, Neil Magny at eight, Bilal Muhammad at nine, Jeff Hands of Steel, Neil at ten, Michael Chiesa at six, Vicente Luque at five. These are all killers, man. And for Leon Edwards to string together nine wins in a row in this division is very impressive. Bilal Muhammad, he was clearly going to win that fight. And look, I I know, no contest, you're absolutely right. And on the books, it is a no contest, so Mm -hmm. we must talk about it in that way. But Nate Diaz, he was whooping Nate, and I'm a big Diaz fan, but he was whooping Nate's ass for four and a half rounds. That last 60 seconds, he got caught, he wobbled. But at the end of the, end of the day, he survived and overall dominated that fight mm-hmm. against a guy in Nate Diaz, a savvy vet. So again, like for, for me, it just, it really sucks seeing Leon Edwards. It's like, when is he going to get a shot? And here's the thing that really sucks. What if he goes out there and loses to Gilbert Burns? You ever think this guy's getting a shot at the belt? No, he'll have it's to work his way back It's the Tony Ferguson situation here where Tony won the interim belt, got stripped of the interim belt, and, and never got that opportunity after stringing together eight, nine wins. You know, mm-hmm. it's just, I hate seeing fighters like this who work so hard throughout their entire career and put together just an impressive streak of wins, and they don't get that opportunity because of politics. You know, like oh, company politics and, and policy of like, oh, we got to do the Colby Covington rematch. Great fight. Great fight. 2-2 two, two going to the fifth. We talk about it all the time. You know, Kamar Usman finished him. And, and I'm not mad about this rematch. I think it's, I think it's deserved. And, and I think uh, I'm okay with it. But Leon doesn't have to fight again. Leon does not have to fight again. But that begs the question, if I'm saying that, who does Gilbert Burns fight next? My, my number one guy who I love to see Gilbert Burns fight, which it would make no sense because... Thompson was four, but Vicente Luque at five. Luque versus Burns, please, mm-hmm. please. But Leon Edwards deserves the next shot after Colby. Yeah, he just does. Shout out Ant W. Yeah, I was gonna say, check out the comments. Yep. Ant just dropped a bomb on you. you. Dropped a good bomb, but I'm gonna read this one first. Uh, Usman versus Colby, Leon versus Burns, and then Wonder Boy versus Masvidal two. Wonder Boy and Masvidal two is never gonna happen, unfortunately. Yeah. Masvidal's n- if he was smart, he'd never take that fight. Um, Leon has to take the Burns fight because if they convince Masvidal to take the fight and Burns goes out there and dominates Masvidal, 
he will jump Leon anyways. So, yeah, I think that's just the way it's going to have to go. Leon's going to have to fight one more time. Dana's already talking about how they want to match Leon up, uh, uh, up one more time. It is unfortunate. I agree with everything you say. He deserves a sit. It's just probably not going to happen, yeah. unfortunately. For him, um, this version of Burns loses badly against Usman again. Yes, 100%. 100%. I think uh, Burns and Luque is their best friend. They all came out of the same camp. So is uh, Usman. Yeah. So, I mean, Usman, Luque, that's probably a matchup they're not going to make. I mean, he did fight Burns, but maybe. Yeah. You know, Usman is now working with Trevor Whitman. He's not at that camp no more. Usman dominated Leon in that first fight, 30-27, and has only gotten better, 100%. I think Usman is the best 170 in the world, and he will be for okay, a while. Okay, but... but- I mean, if, if we're going based on that, how long ago was that Kamal was Usman, time. Leon Edwards fight? So you time. could say the same thing about Connor and, and Dustin. Absolutely. Fucking Connor starts him the first time in 2014. Absolutely. So he, he doesn't deserve to, to fight. No, I, I don't like that argument, man. Mm-hmm. Like fighters change. They evolve. They become different, better fighters. Like Leon Edwards has improved so much that am I saying Kamal Usman won't win that fight? No, I'm not. But what I'm saying is I really think Leon Edwards would be much more competitive. I think he's learned a lot since that fight and obviously has applied it very well in the octagon because that was his last loss mm-hmm. is to the champion Kamal Usman. So. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I hear you. I hear you. But at the same time, you know. Yeah. It is what it is, really. It is what it is. It is yeah. what it is. So uh, I put money on Wonder Boy. I put a thousand church coin on him. I thought he'd be able to stay off the ground. Unfortunately, his takedown defense wasn't good enough those few times he did get taken down. And uh, because of that, Gilbert won. He fought the smartest fight I've seen in a long time anyone take against Wonder Boy. And it was very effective. Yeah. Yeah, I put uh, 16. I think 1,600 on. Well, let me check the notes here. Dang it. What was it, Tabes? It was 1600 16. on Wonderboy. Yeah, I put 16 on Wonderboy and uh, lost that one. All right, shout out Ant W real quick. If Leon was smart, he would take that Burns fight and try to get the spot on the London card in front of a friendly crowd that would Ooh. actually cheer him. He needs the visual of him having some fan support. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I right. totally agree with that. You're absolutely right, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah.